Hi Libra, welcome back to my channel, the light, of, the light of Grace and this is Grace. It's time for another Money Job Life reading and this will be for the month of March 2023. Time flies, huh? So, uh, well, um, first of all, I'm hoping that you are all in, the, in a great space in your life right now. Um, yes, and for my subscriber, I thank you so much for your continued support. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, guys. And for my uh, new viewers, I'm hoping that there is something here that can that you can resonate with, and hopefully that be able to to give you some sort of assistance or or comfort or even uh, enlightenment to help you with your situation. And uh, this is not this is general reading. Not everything here might resonate. So take what resonates, drop the snot, and I do not sugarcoat. Um, I say it as it as I see it and feel it. Uh, I'm an intuitive reader. So um, Let's start money reading Libra with job reading um, Libra no job reading life reading and these are the gifts that the divine is going to be gifting you for the month of March 2023 which I'll be reading towards the end and but before we start I'm gonna clean cleanse your energy my energy and the energy of the space and this Reading is protected with energy of pure white light. Okay? start let's start with money what's coming your way libra you will have eight of water clarify by the two of cups two of wands five of cups Advice, guidance, and messages from the divine and the universe. You have the TikTok. Nothing will come of this situation. Take action. And last one, you have the material and spirit, spiritual prosperity in reverse. Let me see. Hold on. Let me try to find a space in here. I hope you can see it. Okay, so Libra. Um, with this eight of water here, with, with this eight of water being here as the energy coming your way for the month of March 2023. I can see that it seems like you're moving away from a situation uh, that really not that is really not helping you and I think these are more like dissatisfaction anger disappointments when it comes to your money situation so I will just uh, I will talk to you about this later as soon as I find out what's going on here So with this two of wands in reverse and the five of cups being here and this and this this is six of pentacles in reverse okay if i can hold them all <laughs> so with the two of wands in here and the five of cups it seems like you have no uh, direction in regards to how you're going to deal with your financial situation that might be happening right now or in the recent past or it's been for quite a while now it seems like no matter how you put effort on this situation like try to make some money or trying to save money or trying to balance this whole financial dealings that you're going through it seems like it's not going air going anywhere like with this nothing will come of the situation just nothing there's no positive or 
positive result that's happening. Okay, it's not working, whatever you're doing, it's not working. And it's not with this five of cups here, it seems like you're not happy about it. You are heartbroken, okay? You are heartbroken. It seems like there's nothing there to, it's like you're losing hope, okay? Because this five of cups here, if you recall, if you're familiar with the Rider Waits, there is these three cups on the ground that this person is looking at, but there, there's a two of cups that's standing behind them. This person is looking at both, okay? They're seeing there's just a possibility, but they're seeing also the disappointments. There's probably um, the energy of feeling sorry for yourself here, feeling disappointed, feeling pessimistic about this energy here. But with this, one second, with this uh, two of cups, as you can see, two of cups is there and there's two of cups here. Those are the two of cups. And what I'm getting with this one, and maybe this would only resonate for the few of you, I do feel that if you are in a partnership, if you are married with somebody or you are in a relationship with somebody that you're living with, or may, it doesn't have to be living with, but you have a partner or even a friend or a family member, but more like a partner to me, that's what I'm getting here. It seems like this person is comforting you as you're going through this hardship in finance. These two cups are standing right in front of you and letting you know that, you know, they're there. They're supporting you emotionally. They understand what you're feeling. Okay? This person is giving you the comfort. This person is making you feel better. That despite that the, the money is not going anywhere or is, you're not happy with your money situation, this person is making you grounded, make you feel, you know, better emotionally because they're supporting you emotionally. This person might not be able to help you financially, but the emotions is there, okay? Now, what with this take action here, this month of March, there is energy of you realizing that there is a need for you to fix this. That there is a need for you to, to not sit on this energy. This is more of a realization here. It's like you're realizing, oh my God, you know, I've been sitting on this unhappy energy for quite a while. I Maybe you blame yourself. You've been disappointed. You've been angry. And you realize that I don't want to sit on this energy anymore. And maybe this person that you're close with is saying that, you know what? You're not going to gain anything out of feeling sorry for yourself or being hard on yourself. You have to leave that behind. You have to keep moving forward. You have to do something about this. Don't let yourself down. Don't feel small. That's the kind of energy I'm getting from your partner or from the person that's giving you the emotional support. Now, maybe this person is saying that it's about time to take action, but this is also an advice from the universe that it is the time for you to take action because whatever you're doing is not working. You feeling sorry for yourself, or even just doing overtime, giving all your best, it's not working. The divine is saying, you know what? Stop. This is the time when you have to take action or maybe think about different way of solving your problem. This is the time that you have to step away from emotions that is not fulfilling you. Give another um another um maybe you have to try a different way maybe you have to try a different uh um perspective 
or a different path to solve it because whatever you're doing is not doing anything it's not it's not leading you to your goal okay it's not causing you to be balanced financially okay right now you feel tight there's nothing for you to give nothing for you to offer and maybe i do sense that for a lot of you you do feel broke that there's nothing to brag about there's nothing to feel good about and that's why you feel sad and feeling sore for yourself and feeling depressed so again libra this march is the month for you to step out there and try a different way of dealing with this problem that you're that you're going through maybe this is the time when you have to start analyzing okay you know what am i doing that is not leading me to my end game what do i need to rearrange with this to rearrange um the 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 method of gaining some income maybe there maybe you need to tweak your methods a little bit maybe you need to um seek guidance from somewhere help but this month of March is the time for you to do something about it you need to change the energy of this by putting a different way of solving this problem because your method your way of doing it is not working it's time for you to move on it's time for you to apply a new way of doing and taking care of, of your finance okay let's go to libra with job what's coming your way you have the five of water just by the way libra there's a lot of water energy for the month of march because so you're going to be emotional okay the five of water is clarified by the knight of pentacles three of cups another water energy the queen of pentacles Advice, guidance, and messages from the divine and the universe. You have the chaos and conflict. A win-win outcome is forecast. Compromise. And wisdom. We'll talk about this five of waters later, okay? So for you, Libra, there's with this chaos and conflict here, I do feel that there are some issues at work that um it appears to be conflicting or you're having problem with. And this could be about the people that you're working with having the three of cups in here. It seems like these people might be gossiping about you or that these people might be saying something that is not nice about you or just you having this this there's so much responsibility and you're seeing people just gullibanting and doing not doing nothing but despite of the chaos or maybe disappointments of whatever this conflict that is happening in your workspace or your environment or within yourself it seems like you know how to handle the problem with the wisdom in here the queen of pentacles here it's telling me that you are smart that you know how to do things in a way that does not deter you from your focus because queen of pentacle is a it's a it's a focus driven energy 
and they act on it. They work on it. They make sure it happen in the 3D world. You just don't work recklessly because the Knight of Pentacles is here. You don't work recklessly. You work with, you can handle details. You can handle, you can handle precision. You can handle methods. You can handle details. You can handle, you do things maybe slow, but sure. Because you are the Queen of Pentacles. You make sure that whatever you do, there's always this uh, goal of making it really, really good. That is a win-win outcome for you. If there is a need for you to compromise, you do compromise. If it makes sense to you, you compromise. For some of you who's having problem with your coworkers, there is a need for you to compromise. There is a need for you to understand the situation. There is a need for you to really hone on what is actually this chaos about, what is actually the conflict is about. If you are, if you are a manager, you are the boss or you are the team leader at work, this is the time when you have to use that power to talk to those people address the issue see if there is a, a if there is a need for compromising here it seems like there's going to be always a good end game because the, the win-win outcome is here you're so good at this libra you really like you're really tapping into your intelligence here when you're when it comes to work. You just don't work recklessly. You are a good worker, Libra. Now with this five of water here, this is the five of cups. But looking at this image is totally different from what I'm getting when I do use the right away. This energy is different. It has, it has an optimism with this. This is about a person who's saying, okay, I'm going to leave this sadness energy or this crappy energy that I'm feeling at work, whatever, this chaos and conflict that's causing it. You're moving away from it. You just don't move away and kind of avoid the problem. You're actually moving forward with addressing the issue and the problem that's going on at work you don't run away from responsibility you don't run away from unsolved issues you take care of the issue and that's how you move forward that what's that that causes you to not get stuck in this unhappy energy because if you leave unhappy energy like a problem you just set it aside ignore it and then keep moving forward that problem that issue is going to haunt you. It's going to come back to you and you have to face it. Might as well solve the problem there and then and then move forward. Some of you, the pro your project may be a little slow, but there is this good news that's going to be coming out of it a win-win outcome there is a need maybe for you to compromise a little bit or maybe there is a need for you to study or to do a little bit more reading or you know finishing up about this project that you're working on but it seems like you're going to be successful with this because you are the queen of pentacle you have this beautiful this is like a worker energy this is like hard-working people you nurture your work you nurture your responsibility you nurture your your role and you nurture the people that you work with you are a very very helpful co-worker or if you are a boss you are a very helpful boss 
okay going back again to the five of water this is about you moving forward and 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 as you move forward you are solving the problem you're not running away from it and that's how it's supposed to be now let's go to libra with no job if i can fix this one here what's coming your way for my libra no job you have the messenger of water again another water energy so again just a reminder that this march 2023 there's going to be a lot of emotion it's more you're going to feel more of emotion okay the messenger of water is clarified by the four of swords the king of pentacles death in reverse the high priestess advice guidance and messages from the divine and the universe you have the deep knowing which is kind of the same energy as the high priestess prosperity lies ahead opportunity and transformation I will talk about the messenger of water later. Let's talk about the this death, the four of sword, the king of pentacles and the high priestess. This transformation is the same energy as the death in reverse, okay? They're both same energy. I think for my Libra with no job, you're going to be happy this March 2023 because I do feel that you are sensing and feeling that your life is going to change soon. With this deep knowing here and this high priestess, you really do feel that you, that this job is just around the corner you do feel it it's like your intuition is telling you that the job is just around the corner with this energy here i do feel the energy of um disappointment and sadness and feeling sorry for yourself but there is this death energy and i think that in it, for quite a while now you don't feel that it's going to ever change the situation that you're in and maybe you're sitting in the energy of not having job for quite a while that it's not going to change But all of a sudden you started sensing and i do feel with this death in reverse here at first you didn't you felt you felt like it's not gonna ever happen and so what you did is like you started thinking you started contemplating you started processing your situation and maybe then you also do that processing to that analysis you realize that it's going to happen that you're going to have a job you might not have the exact date when you're going to have it or you might not have an exact idea what job you're going to end up having with but you know it's there you have this faith you know you have this inner knowing with this that it's going to happen maybe there's a person that's going to approach you with this king of pentacles here that's going to offer you an opportunity somebody who's well off somebody who owns a business who's going to offer you a job opportunity 
that's gonna give you the abundance having all this gold stuff going on here so the main point of this is that through that contemplation through that thinking through that analysis, you realize that oh, you know what it's not going to be that far from it's not going to be that far up. i'm going to have a job soon i know it from my deepest part of me i know from the deepest part of my heart that the prosperity lies ahead that opportunity is coming that thing is gonna change if i was on this energies of feeling stuck that i'm not gonna have this opportunity this job opportunity you know what i should know better I should trust my intuition. I should trust my gut feeling that there is something coming to me. It's a matter of just being patient. And with this transformation, it's letting me know that there is going to be a change. That whatever dissatisfaction, whatever that's not making you happy in the past, that you are moving forward to an abundant, happy energy, a prosperous energy, an energy that's going to give you the opportunity that you need. And this opportunity is going to give you that abundance with the king of pentacles. You're a hardworking person. They'll be so lucky to hire you. Okay? Because you're focused. You're a hard worker. This March 2023, I do feel that even if the job is not here yet, because this is just about the deep knowing, just knowing it from the deepest part of you, this thing that you're doing or you're going to be doing this march to ease the discomfort of feeling that this job might not come your way and switching it to a positive perspective and you're going to feel lighter you're going to feel in more in a happy energy more in a positive energy having this messenger of water Or maybe you're even praying to God. Maybe you're even talking to your spirit guide. Maybe you're talking to your angels because this lady is talking to the seahorse. And the seahorse is, uh, they made for life. And I do feel that for some of you, not for all of you, that maybe your, your person is talking to you and giving you the comfort and knowing that, you know what, honey, don't give up. This job is going to come to you. This job deserves you. Or you deserve this job. And then you saw all of a sudden you just feel good knowing that there's enough support. But otherwise, this could be your uh, spirit guide telling you, Hey Libra, I got your back. Just have faith and stay focused. Because job is coming. Let's go to Libra life, please. I like it. I say please. Oh, my sleeps keep fall. keep falling. Okay, what's coming for my Libra life? This is the energy. You have the six of earth. As clarified by the seven of cups. The four of pentacles in reverse. This reading has a lot of pentacles earth energy and water energy queen of swords in reverse the tower in reverse the ace of cups in reverse the ten of cups in reverse oh my good there's so much reverse in here advice guidance and messages from the divine and the universe you have the to be fair Have faith in your dream. Choose a new direction. And the last one, you have the foundation and achievement in reverse. All right, Libra. Let's, uh, since I have the foundation and the achievement here, which is of the four of wands here, let's talk about home. 
front. This could be a family, this could be your person that you're married with or somebody that you're living with or somebody or family members at home, okay? There is a little bit of instability. There might be unfairness going on at home. You guys are fighting with the queen of swords in here. These are all unhappy energy here. So there is disagreement or fight or not talking to each other because the queen of swords is in reverse here. Okay. Because you could not hold on to this issue. Whatever this problem that you're facing with your person, somehow there is, the, you can have, you can't, you have a, oh, I can't talk. You're having a hard time managing this problem that you're having with your person. So emotionally, it seems like you are overwhelmed with the seven of cups in here. And with the ten of cups, it's letting you know that you're not happy about this. And you are staying quiet with this. Or you may not be talking to your person. You not be talking to your partner. But there is love in here with your person. But there is one of you or both of you who's refusing to change. Maybe the other person is is breadcrumbing the other person with the six of earth here maybe the other one is not is not good at reciprocating with all the things that the other person is doing to the other one and so the person is complaining why you're why are you doing this to me i've done all this to you and you're, you're just giving me breadcrumbs So emotionally, you're not happy. Obviously, all the cups are reversed and you're overwhelmed about it. Having the seven of cups in here. But maybe, maybe you, if you are the queen of swords, you're avoiding to face this problem with the tower in reverse. You're avoiding to face this problem because you don't want to shake up your relationship. So you're staying quiet. That is for some of you. Maybe you're having a hard time expressing your emotion to your person for some for so many reasons. Maybe when you fight, it's all about thinking about the negative things that are happening in your relationship, but not thinking about the feelings that you have as a partner, the love that you still have as a couple, as in this relationship that you're in. If ever you are in this position, this situation that I just mentioned, there is a need for you to be fair with the situation. The divine is asking you to bring balance to the situation. And to bring balance into this situation is to make this tower upright. It's going to be painful. It's not going to be easy. There might be more screaming and fighting and arguing, but that is the way to solve the problem instead of staying quiet and not talking about it and hurting inside you and you hurting inside you're not solving anything if you stay quiet you are making yourself more you you're making yourself suffer more emotionally So it's okay and it's advising you to show your emotion, to express your emotion. Let all these emotions that's going on inside you to come, out, to come out. Tell it to your person, tell it to your partner, tell it to your family member, tell it to your friend, whoever this person that you're living in the same space. Face it. It's not going to be fun like what I said, but it's better than to run away from it. This is also this also this uh, this situation that I just mentioned also applies to single people or who are in a dating scene. Okay?
It seems like you are overwhelmed and you don't know what to do with these feelings that you're having for the person. Or if the person is giving you the feelings, you're not so sure if this person is honest with you. If they're telling you the truth because the queen of swords is in reverse. But you are afraid to talk about this when you're afraid to ask them. Are they telling the truth? Are you lying to me? Or with this tower in reverse is also afraid for you. You're afraid to express your feelings towards the other person. So you're keeping it to yourself. You're staying quiet. You are overwhelmed. You don't know what to do with it. But the feeling inside, you know that this person is going to make you happy. But there is this fear of change. And this, whatever this thing, there's something's holding you down. This could be something that happened in the past that's holding you down. It's may, maybe this, this tower in reverse is you sabotaging this relationship. Because... You rather sit and be quiet and not talk about your emotion towards a person or even solve the problem that you guys are having or even welcoming the idea that maybe what I thought is wrong, that maybe this person is honest and maybe this person's feeling for me is really true. That this can be a stable and grounded relationship. One thing that I'm also getting here with the Four of Pentacles being reversed is that you're not able to save enough money for yourself and you're not happy about it. But you don't know what to do. You don't know how to solve this problem. You're overwhelmed with that. It's like, where am I going to get the money? How am I going to make my money more? How am I going to make some profits? How am I going to be able to increase my bank account? As an advice, the divine in the universe is letting you know that maybe it's about time to choose a new direction, meaning a way of doing things, a way of thinking things, a way of seeing things. This could also, this choose a new direction is also the same advice for if you're having problem at home or if you're having, as a single person, you're having problem towards your person that you're dating with or if you are sort of in a non um, long-term relationship or so on okay there is a need to change that direction but this justice here it needs to happen and with this justice and the ch and choose a new direction is they're working as a team they're working as a partner to bring this justice is to change the direction and to and to have this new direction you have to, to do the justice to bring the fairness to this in order to make this four of one stable and grounded and happy and secured with this have faith in your dreams is also telling me that to have faith in whatever your goal is whatever your dream is have faith believe in it Believe that you can do this. Believe that you can you can attain your goal. Believe that you can change this whole situation. But there is a need for you to kind of tweak your dynamic, to, to kind of tweak your method, or to kind of change your perception a little bit. Now, with this six of earth as the energy coming your way, there is a need of balancing here. As to be fair, as it's the same as the justice energy. There is a need to balance this march, whatever the situation that you're going through, in relationship, in money, in life. There is a need for balance. There is a need of weighing the pros and cons. There is a need 
to work on this karma there is a need to see things in a way that brings balance to both sides my hand is shiny oh my god it's the lotion sorry <laughs> For some of you, you're going to attain this balance. And for some of you, that is something that needs to be done. And with the Six of Earth, and to be fair, is giving me the energy of justice, which is you, Libra. That there is a need for you to bring your power. There's a need for you to bring your your uniqueness to the situation your your actual element to this situation <clears throat> this is your specialty so use it So you have the aid of water, the five of water, the messenger of water, and the six of earth. I'm telling you, there's a lot of emotions in here. What I'm getting with this um, eight of water and the five of water and the messenger of water, this is about seeing things with a different light. that you have to look at things in a positive way to let your emotions be out instead of hiding in but it's also about moving forward and and Keep tracking of where you're going and what you're go where you're going is just the energy of being in a positive energy. Because these are the two energies of trying to see things in a positive light with this from coming from this good tarot. Okay. It's about you recognizing that you have to leave the thing that does not work for you or that is not for your highest good and move away from those energy and then keep moving forward with the energy of positivity and optimism and that's going to give you the balance because if you stay and feeling sorry for yourself if you stay on just thinking about all the problem that's happening without even expressing it or without even realizing that there is a need for you to step out of that situation there's no longer for your highest good then just kind of cause you more imbalance into your life if you let the bread crumbings happen to your life it's not you're not going to get the justice this is about you realizing that Things has to be fair. Things has to be balanced. Things has to be right in 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 right in a way to have you see things how you see your situation. I mean, I mean, there's so many ways you can say right thing, but we all go through different situations in our life. So I cannot really say what's right for you, but whatever that might be, you may you might know it, Libra. The gift that you're receiving from the divine in the universe this this um march 2023 is forgiveness god is forgiving you but that's just not that but that is just not i mean how am i saying God is forgiving, but this, that's not all the message with this forgiveness. What I'm getting here is that you have to forgive yourself. If you made the wrong decision and that's what makes things screw up, then you have to forgive yourself. We are not perfect human beings. We make mistakes. But we cannot allow ourselves to be hard on ourselves, but instead learn from that lessons that we've gone through, the mistakes that we've gone through, and move forward with it. 
and without forgetting that you have to forgive yourself but it also forgive all the people that have hurt you there is the energy of forgiveness this march 2023 new experience what i'm getting with this new experience is that the divine and the universe is gifting you gifting you a new way of looking at things like this lady here with the five of water she's she has her arm up right let me show you and she's like looking at things in a different way and that is new experience because maybe the old way is no longer working for you so the divine is saying let me give you new sets of ideas now you can give a try maybe if you give those try give those a try i cannot talk um that maybe it would lead you to some sort of an answer to maybe it would lead you to a, a happier situation groundedness nice you're gonna feel more grounded this march 2023 enough to make this to think enough to make sense about your situation enough to sort things out education some of you you are going to be you're going to be contemplating about going back to school or maybe taking some classes or maybe anything that is um that you have to go to school or class for there are some of you who might go back to school or maybe this is the month that you're going to start or you're going to be contemplating about maybe changing your changing the direction of your life maybe you're tired of being an accountant maybe you want to be a doctor so you're going to go back to school or maybe um you know i want to train myself more maybe you are a, a clerk and but then you want to uh, you want to have a higher position so you're going to go back to school and learn how to be a secretary not just a clerk more of a secretary enough to be next to the vice president or the president of the company to manage things or this is just way of learning and educating yourself about how to ground yourself about having new way of doing things and maybe also learning how to forgive others and yourself this is your reading my dear libra i thank you so much i am sending you lots and lots of love and light bye bye